Hey, how's it going? Welcome to Rapid Fire Reaper Tutorials. A user requested I talk about automation a little bit, so I'm gonna dedicate a few episodes to automation. So what you probably do know is that if you wanna automate any parameter, you can click on it, go to param, go to show track envelope. That's cool. I also have a custom action where I just click on it, press the hotkey and it's here. And that custom action basically closes all floating effects windows and effects chain windows, and then just shows that. So it's a little quicker for me. I like to optimize everything one click at a time. So I got my high frequency envelope lane here I want it to kind of drop down a little bit and then gradually drop back to normal for when the drums kick in and it sounds a little bit like this right simple thing like this so if I want to copy this automation elsewhere I can always right click and drag command and C to copy all the automation points and then paste it somewhere that's fine but there's a way cooler thing you can do if I hold alt on the lane I can drag out and what I've created now is called an automation item so automation items are cool because a I can click on it copy it and paste it I can copy this and paste it on any envelope lane I can also hold alt and then I can grow or shrink this so the movement stays the same but the length is changed. I can also, as you can see here, it's not like perfect. So I can double click on it. I can adjust the baseline until it's perfect. I can also make the same movement less severe and more gradual, or I can make it really crazy. I can also just flip it around. So now it's going from down to up. So another thing I can do is I can save this. I can right click on it, go save and call this gradual fall in rise. Now I can come to a totally different project, take a totally different parameter, go right click, and go load gradual fall and rise it doesn't line up cool I can make it like this it got too flat on the bottom bring it down like this adjust it I can even loop it and then let's say I want to linger on this part a little more put my edit cursor there split it move this back select both of them glue them delete this point and this point and now it drops stays there and goes up so these are really useful if you're an EDM producer and you do a lot of like risers where you dip up the low pass kind of gradual Gradually, you can just do one rise, save it as an automation item, then you can load it, adjust it, or shrink it, and really quickly have a rise going on at any time you want. So very powerful stuff. Take care, and I'll see you tomorrow with more automation tutorials. Bye.